In this video I'm going to show you the DMX lighting setup that I'm currently using for Artemis. Uh, this will be deployed on a larger scale um, at a gaming convention, uh, but for right now I have it set up in my room um, just to get the lighting right uh, and the effects the way I want them. So first I'm going to load up Artemis, uh, of course two instances, one server and one client. and I'll go ahead and use all the stations. Alright, so as you can see the light bar in the middle here is set to white and that is uh, the normal condition meaning everything's good to go, shields are down, red alert is um, down as well. So you'll see here when I have the shields come on I have them fading in t uh, to the duration of the sound effect and that was actually pulled off the um, Artemis forums, one of the users there figured out how to use um, the change variable to change the lighting over time. Um, in this case, the same amount of time as the sound file uh, to fade the lights up. So that's, that's helpful. Uh, for this, I still have the main condition, or the normal condition lights on. Um, I, I think a little more light would be kind of fun. Uh, you'll see here, let me go ahead and we'll dock. I have yellow. Oops, so that really didn't show too well because it. There, there we go. Let's turn around here. Kind of spoiled the whole thing, didn't it? Okay. There we go. So I had the yellows in the middle, and they flash as long as you're currently uh, being tractored to dock. And then once docking occurs, you'll see the green lights fade out the same way the blue ones do. There. So with the separate lights that I have, there's one on each side of the monitors in the back. Those are doing shields up or shields down. Uh, the middle light bar is doing um, docking, or docking and tractor to be docked, also normal condition. And then if you want to go to red alert, it's going to turn off the status bar in the middle, keep the shields up and down so you can still tell if you're having you know, if your shields are up or down. Uh, and then I have the red disco strobe jobber thing uh, on the floor underneath the desk. Um, for this effect, you know, th even though this isn't going to be um, a permanent fixture, the glass top desk is kind of nice and I can shine lights from underneath it. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel red alert because it's shining me in the eyes. There we go. Now I do believe I have it set Let's just go ahead and try this. If I have red alert on and we move away a little bit, okay, it's going to cancel the middle bar no matter what's going on. I think I can fix that if I really want it to happen, although I think if you're at red alert, that's going to be your priority. Um, so we'll go ahead and cancel that. And you see it goes back to the yellow flashings. So let's, let's, go, find, let's go find a bad guy and we'll see how all the lights react when we get hit with something. Watch the lights here. Ooh, look at that. I don't get my butt kicked. But I have everything flashing no matter what it's doing. Even with red alert turned off, it, it, it'll still flash. We'll put red alert on here and see what happens. Everything should still flash, yep. Taking a pounding here. Oh well. Cancel red alert. And that's the way it goes. Um, if you guys have specific questions regarding how I got this to go, uh, how I got this all hooked up, uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to post a video on that. Uh, I am a DMX novice. In fact, when I heard about the 
implementation of the protocol in into this game. I, I did some research. I have a friend who does this stuff full time, and he he hooked me up with some gear, and then I went out and of course got addicted and bought some bought some more stuff. So uh, thanks for watching.